morning guys and day two in Melbourne and today I'm taking you to see penguins yes lots and lots of penguins I hope you like penguins because you're gonna see tons today and back at Federation Square I'm actually getting a tour here to do the uh, penguin tour We'll talk about that later, <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so I booked a tour, um, and let's see some penguins, eh? The sun is shooting. Dogs, demonstration is uh, going to happen. Okay guys, I'm on Churchill Island, and um, this is one of the early colonies in Victoria, and uh, later on, still dying to see those penguins, but uh, that's not till later this evening. Um, the actual penguins, there's about 30,000 penguins on the island and they don't like coming out before uh, sunset. So in the meantime, just going to spend some time looking here at the um, at Churchill Island. Some little old cottages here. And they're doing some sheepdog trials. Quite famous in Australia. Let's have a look. Well, this looks like a Clarsdale, judging by the uh, feet. Such a pretty farm. We're going to do some sheep shearing. Let's see. The sheep would like to take a walk. So, if you walked into a shearing shed, it'd be very similar to this one here. And all the sheep you see around the farm here are actually meat breeds of sheep. So, they basically uh, use their lambs, cut the lambs up, sell them off. And that's where your lamb shops and roast lamb and stuff come from. But uh, they grow wool as well. You can see some of it around the shearing shed here. And this is what we make sort of socks, jumpers, coats, carpet, insulation, hats, all those types of lawn brush that are made from this particular type of wool. <laughs> She must be about 10 year <laughs> All right, here we go. Watch one sheep. So I'm going to go back and get my next sheep. And uh, there's a job of the rest, but the only normal shearing sheep we don't have a fence. So they have to come down to the stage and pick up the fleece. My tape. And they throw it on the tape. What they do then, they go around to the edge of the fleece. And uh, they take this dirty bit off because 
that's what Dr. Stein and say, well, it doesn't wash up as easy as clean as the rest of it. We keep that separate. Eventually, the wool class will come along and uh, take a piece of the wool like so. You have a look at it, class it and crack grain of wool. The press will come along, pick up the fleece and put it in the wool press and press out the rail like you see over here. And then they set off the market on uh, the day of shearing uh, to be sold. So that sheep there is produced, because it's got a little more than 12 months worth of wool. So it's probably got about 7 kilos of wool length. So that means I can lay, make at least 5 adult jumpers on that much uh, fleece in the wool. Wow. So, still warm. <laughs> it's so weird. You might be able to see the lanolin in my fingers. Very greasy. These are actually 1860. Pretty basic. Probably haven't changed that much in that time. That's me, eighteen hundred and sixty. It's the view from Churchill Island. Guys, check out these Scottish Island cattle. So cute. Check out these Highland um, Highland cattle. You see the little horns they got? The big ones down the back there, they got massive horns. Okay guys, so now I'm at the Koala Conservation Centre. Here on Phillip Island. So this is the sanctuary they set up for the koalas. Now the hard bit, finding the koalas. And there we have them. <laughs> it's a sleeping little koala. Hello. It's a little tiny um a wallaby. Hello. What's your name? Hello. So cute. Look how cute. Yes. Beautiful. Guys, I found one. That's the bits in the middle. Big, uh, now these look like Ford, uh, these would be uh, fairly amateur, uh, I would say, I hope I'm not. Born on those two rocks, rocky outcrops. World population is thought to be about 80,000. Um, now we can't, they're two kilometres distant offshore so we're not going to see anything from the shoreline. Too far out, you'd need a boat and you wouldn't be out there in a boat today. Ashore and... Uh... My name is Michelle and we have Nicholas here on the stand. So this is where the penguins come up. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to film them because the light uh, sort of blinds them. But we will see them. Covert filming of penguins. You can hardly see them, guys. Penguins. Covert filming of penguins. can hardly see them, guys. Can't see him, but you can hear him.
They don't let you take photos. You can't see any here. Hi guys, okay so that finishes up today's trip to um, Phillip Island and Churchill Island and tomorrow I'm taking you on a motorbike ride up through uh, northern Victoria and hopefully you can come and join us then and um, like and subscribe please and bye for now. Cheers guys.